Hey everybody, this is Doa, and today I'll be casting a best of three from the MLG Dallas tournament that happened recently. This will be a game between Root Slush and his opponent, Root Druby. So uh, two players from Root Gaming, uh, both Canadian StarCraft players, very good. And uh, they're in the loser bracket at MLG, but nonetheless, I'm sure these will be an entertaining three matches. I have not yet seen them, but Root versus Root, never going to be disappointing in my opinion. So we're going to watch them duke it out on Metalopolis here. We see... Slush already sending his overlord across to check out that cross air position. And in the meantime, Druby just working on building a couple SCVs. Now, uh, one thing I wanted to mention, you may be wondering what's going on with my logo. What does TRN mean? And uh, TRN stands for the Rush Network. It's actually a great esports network that I've teamed up with to start doing some live casting for them. I'm going to be starting this Sunday, actually, doing uh, two collegiate Star League matches. And uh, then going into the Weekend Warrior Tournament put on by uh, Zeke.com, that's uh, Z33K.com. You want to check out their website, they've got a lot of great StarCraft 2 tournaments going on um, pretty much all the time. And speaking of all the time too, the Rush Network basically has live casts going every night too. So you'll definitely want to check out the RushNetwork.com to see what their schedule is looking like. I'll be there on Sunday, so I'm hoping you guys can uh, tune in and, and uh, watch me cast. I'm really excited. My first live cast ever. Super pumped about that. But uh, let's take a second and focus on the game here. Looks like Druby going 12 barracks, 13 gas. A very normal Terran opening there. In the meantime, Slush putting down his hatchery before pool. And as you can see from the minimap, he did scout out this location and this location, so he knows that he is plenty safe doing that early expand build. Meantime, we do have Druby moving his SCV up, possibly trying to catch an Overlord as it was coming in, but he will not find his opponent this time. We do have the Drone Force Slush moving in. Barracks does finish, and the Marine is immediately rallied to that drone. He doesn't want to let Slush get any more scouting than he has to. Orbital Command going up for Druby right now. In the meantime, Slush just is going to hang out kind of in the middle of the map. This is a great thing to do if you're Zerg as well. If you kind of hang out right here, which is what I'm guessing he's planning on doing, because you can kind of keep an eye on both of these golds. The uh, gold steals aren't quite as common as they were, say, in like beta or something like that. But it's it's good to kind of keep an overlord park there to make sure no uh, funny business is going on with the gold expansion. We do also see Slush putting down his spawning pool and getting a gas. It looks like Slush most likely thinking of doing the uh, zergling speed to start off with. Druby moving in to scout out his opponent's base. He will see that early expansion. In the meantime, Marines, they might be able to take down this drone for Slush. And Slush moving a little bit too close to the ledge actually and losing that drone. So, whoops, a little bit of an early loss for Slush there. But he did see a, a good amount of what Druby was planning. He saw that factory start, but I don't believe that he saw the reactor start. Let me see here. Whoops. No, he did not see the reactor start, so he is not actually... He did not even see that factory start. So he's not quite sure what his opponent is doing at this point. And uh, what his opponent is doing is looks like it's a double, double heli and fast expand. Getting that reactor on the barracks as well as that factory. He's going to switch those over once the factory does complete. Looks like Druby doing a little bit of poking in to look at his opponent's base. Slush preemptively putting down a spine crawler since he is a little bit in the dark about what his, op his opponent is doing. Queen putting down a creep tumor, getting that creep spread going right away. And she's probably going to be moving down to the natural fairly soon as well. And Druby doing that expand, and the Hellions are on the way, so Druby going to put on a little bit of Hellion pressure as well as get this expansion up and running. Meantime, we take a look at Slush's base. He does reposition that spine crawler a little bit better. This is good positioning here by Slush, because as you can see, the queen can cover the ramp as far as the Hellions go if he moves his queen just a little bit farther over. And the uh, spine crawler can kind of cover this area of the choke as well. So, uh, kind of uh, suspecting, I think, what his opponent is planning. I just want to double check to make sure he doesn't know. No, he doesn't know what his opponent is planning yet, but good positioning anyway by Slush. Meantime, we do have the Hellions moving across the map for Druby, so we're going to have to see if Druby can get in and do any sort of damage. Zergling speed about halfway done for Slush right now. Druby pausing at the natural expansion, possibly going back and doing a little bit of macroing. I don't know if I like this kind of stopping out in the open there. That's, that's maybe a, a little bit of a miscue by Druby. In the meantime, uh, Zergling Speed does get ever closer to finishing. We do see a second barracks going up for Druby as well as getting that Orbital Command. First tank on the way. I kind of want to focus on these Hellions because any second they will do something. And there they go, poking in and seeing that Spine Crawler. And Druby may be kind of, kind of second guessing himself, wondering if he wants to move in or not. There are a good amount of Lings on the way that just did get speed just now. So I don't think these Hellions are going to be able to do any damage. In the meantime, Zergling going into poke in. And uh, Slush getting a great surround, taking out those Hellions for Druby. 
Excellent job, so Drewby being a little bit hesitant, but I think these Hellions are going to be able to clean up the Zerglings. So Drewby losing two Hellions early on with some great, with a great little attack by Slush. He may even lose this Hellion. Drewby, micro your Hellion. Whoa, just barely getting away with 15 hit points on that Hellion. In the meantime, the Zergling getting plenty of information about his opponent's base to bring back to the Overlord. Bunker going down for Drewby as well. We do have more tanks going up. Siege mode just starting now. And so both players beginning to transition into their strategy of strategies of choice. Baneling Nest for Slush as well. So Slush possibly thinking of doing some sort of Baneling bust early on. Although with that early expansion it won't be too much of a bust. As there really won't be a, a static wall there like you would see if a Terran was going a little bit longer on one base. Slush moving in with that Zergling to get a little bit more information. But Drew be able to force it back with those Hellions. So Drewby looking like he is going to go some sort of mech base play this game. Slush taking that Zelnaga tower and pumping out even more Zerglings. Let's go to the unit tab real quick here. Uh, Slush, yeah, with 18 Zerglings right now, so quite a few early on. And it looks like he is planning on doing an early attack here with those Zerglings. I don't think he's going to be able to cause too much damage, but he wants to see if he can poke in and kill off some of those SCVs, although he may think better of it after seeing the army that Drewby does have parked there, as well as that bunker. And yeah, Slush moving away with his Zerglings. Not wanting to lose those those units early on, always a good decision. In the meantime, we do have Baneling Speed and a Spire going down for Slush. Let's take a look at it. Where did he hide that Spire? Way in the back of the base here. So that Spire in a good position to avoid being scouted by uh, any sort of SCVs, although some Hel Hellions may be able to sneak in there. So it looks like a Speedling, Baneling, Hellion going for Slush as he does put down his third base here. In the meantime, Drewby moving out with an attack. Just doing Marines and Tanks, so I guess I was a little bit incorrect earlier on when I said he was doing Mech. Going for more of the classic Marine tank. Stim uh, only about a third of the way done yet, so I'm not sure if this is really going to be able to do a whole lot of damage. Looks like he may be trying to get that right one, the plus one weapons for infantry finishes. Hellions taking some Zerglings away from that Zelnaga tower. But Drewby deciding to pull back, maybe trying to just sort of show his presence, make his opponent make a couple, other, a couple extra offensive units rather than uh, make some drones which is always a good thing to do. I know you see that quite a bit in high level games now where they'll poke out just to about here, just enough so that their opponent sees him and then pull back, try to get the uh, Zerg player to pump up more units. And as you can see here, he is getting more offensive units and no drones right now. So possibly a little bit intimidated, intimidated by that possible attack of Drewby, moving a large group of speedlings across the map here. In the meantime, we do have an infestation pit going up as well as two evolution chambers. Evolution Chamber is here and here, and the Infestation Pit is... where is it? There it is. And some Banelings lurking out here as well. Meantime, we do have some action going on across the map, although I did pretty much miss it. Some Zerglings guarding that third base of Slush. In the meantime, we do have the Zergling Park to make sure he knows when his opponent is planning on taking his third. So Slush right now doing a good job of kind of controlling the map, moving his Zerglings around. But Drewby does look very, very stable here in his corner of the map, getting his third base up and built so he can move it in. But Slush will know, of course, because he does have that Zergling waiting. Doesn't look like any upgrades going yet for the Infestation Pit. He is just going to be going for that Hive right away. So that's going to be interesting. Going to have to see what sort of Hive tech he is planning. Possibly going into the Greater Spire, although Ultras are a possibility too. Ultras do work very well in this composition. Looks like Slush right now just kind of camping out at his third. And the third base for Drewby did just finish now, so he's going to be moving that over. In the meantime, Slush scouting at this base as well, kind of preparing things. As you can see, Slush really covering a lot of the map here. He's got just a ton of vision, so Slush definitely in control of this game. Some Marines chasing away the Speedling for Slush as Drewby moves his command center into place. And so right now, not a whole lot going out action-wise. In the meantime, it looks like if we take a look at the production tab, Drewby just getting a ton of upgrades right now, as well as a Thor getting that uh, vehicle weapons level 1 upgrade. Some Mutalisks finally moving across the map for Slush, so he's going to poke in to see if he does any damage. He may get that right as that Thor finishes, but some turrets are going to be able to force those Mutas away before the Thor even gets out. So Drewby very prepared for his opponent, and as you can see here, he is going for that Greater Spire, so we're going to see some Broodlords later in the game, most likely. Trying to possibly go in and pick off a tank or two, but the Thor says no way. In the meantime, Marines looking very beefy with their combat shields and their upgrades going. Orbital Command morphing in for Drewby here. So Slush forced back across the map 
with his Mutalisk is not going to be able to really cause much of a damage. So this does put Slush in a little bit of a tricky situation right now. He is going to get that fourth hatchery at his third base. In the meantime, Adrenal Glands being researched for the Zerglings. And we do have a fifth base going down for Slush as well. So Slush, seeing that he won't be able to cause too much damage with those Mutalisks initially, deciding to just macro up and, and trying to just outproduce his opponent. Let's take a look at the army tab real quick, just to see where things are at. Uh, Druby actually quite a bit farther ahead, 135 over 118, and that lead is going to continue to grow as this third base gets up and running. So uh, that early push across the map, remember where we saw that, and uh, he just kind of pushed out, didn't really attack, and it forced Slush to make a few more offensive units. Looks like some Marines pushing back those Mutalisks for Slush. But anyway, that uh, may have held back Slush a little bit in the economy. Meantime, this hatchery almost done for Slush. So right now, Druby just building a larger and larger army, 154 over 128, so Druby's lead is growing, putting down another factory. The sensor tower as well is going to do a great job, kind of letting him know when those mutalisks are coming in. So right now, right now, Slush basically just shut down cold. We're going to have to see if he can find a way to get back in this game, because he is behind on the food and is not really in a position to be able to attack another command center going down for Druby here. And I would imagine this is probably going to be lifted off and moved to the gold. Meantime, Mutalisks flying around, wondering, is there anything we can do to help the Overmind right now? And the answer is pretty much no, there's not. They're going to have to wait for a larger force to come help them out. If we go back to the production tab, we do see that some there are some Broodlords morphing for Slush. They might be able to help those Mutalisks out as well, as so we do have some Infestors as well. I don't think he's researching Neural Parasite, as that would be pretty good against the Thoris to kind of protect his Air Force, but uh, not quite yet, it looks like. Neural Parasite not taken. So it looks like he's planning on just using that to uh, pump out some fungal growth. The Broodlords are beginning to move across the map, so this is going to be the big attack from Slush. Huge amount of Speedlings coming across as well. Those Banelings that he had built earlier has saved all game. This will be their time. Just now waiting for the Broodlords to get into position. Oh, you know what's really interesting? You can see the Broodlords as big dots, and then the Broodlings as tiny little dots, even as they're flying around on the minimap. Looks like Druby is going to move out as well. Nice fungal going down and catching a lot of those bio units. These Broodlords are going to be able to go to work on them. All these Marines are pretty much forfeit, and Slush moving in with the Speedlings and the Banelings and the Infestors. Broodlords firing from afar, and it looks like he may be able to take out Druby actually with this. Druby's army going down very quickly. This is definitely going to be a win for Slush as far as I can see. Still plenty of Speedlings left and those Broodlords hardly taking any damage. I think he may have gotten one. So Slush with that great composition able to basically take out Druby's army in one fell swoop and he is going to work on the production buildings of Druby. Druby is in dire straits right now. Possibly thinking of taking out the space, but Druby does lift it. More reinforcements coming down the map. As you can see on the minimap, for Slush dropping some infested Terrans as well. To sort of draw the fire of some of those units. The Broodlords are going down very quickly, down to two Broodlords right now. And so Slush may want to pull back and regroup here. He is doing that a little bit, but he needs to get those Broodlords out. Slush losing all but one of his Broodlords, and he may lose even more here. In the meantime, we do see vehicle weapons level 2 being level 3, level 2 being researched, and uh, infantry weapons level 3 being researched for Druby. So Druby going to be very high on the upgrades. In the meantime, Slush not producing anything right now, but moving in and doing this attack with his units he is going to be able to force Druby back yet again and Slush still looking in a very commanding spot whoops in this matchup he's going to be able to kill all the SCVs at the main in the meantime we do have more reinforcements coming down from Slush Druby basically having to retreat and I think we may actually see a GG fairly soon here from Druby as a Slush is basically loose in his game that Thor not going to be able to cause too much damage main mind out basically for Druby and the few units that he is producing is going to be cleaned up right away by Slush so it looks like Druby turtling a little bit, and in the end, it won't matter. Slush able to move in with a great unit composition to beat the army of Druby. We've got to be seeing GG any second here, as it doesn't look like Druby has any sort of response for this. The medevacs do keep this little group healed, but I don't think it's going to be enough, as the reinforcements are going to continue to stream down the map for Slush. As you can see, he does have a large amount grouping up for the final blow, but he may not even need to worry about it. These big speedlings still loose in Druby's base. And so Druby looking completely routed at this point. And here comes the final blow from Slush. This has got to be GG soon. I know I've said that like three times, but honestly, honestly, I think it will be GG soon. And there it is. So Druby GG's to Slush. Slush taking game one on Metalopolis. 
And uh, great seeing those Brutaloids in the game. You don't see that too often. We're going to move right along to game two. And uh, again, yeah, see you on the next cast.